facing me. <laughs> All right. Are we good? Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening from around the world, I hope. Um, just to recap, I'm Simon from Painting in France. My wife, Monica, is kindly um, monitoring the camera in front of us. And today we are going to go virtually to the little village of Buzig, which is on the edge of a Mediterranean lagoon, about 30 minutes drive from here. Um, this is yeah, one of the many painting venues we, we go to on our painting holidays. Um, invariably a little uh, spot under the trees here, overlooking the lagoon. And then, lo and behold, there's a lot of lovely little restaurants just behind these trees. It's a really delightful place to paint. Uh, I painted this a while ago. I haven't painted it recently, so this could all go horribly wrong. But we'll see. We'll get started. You say that every week. I do. No, I do. Well, it usually could do, believe me, yeah. I mean, I was, look, I was, under, I was actually practising some clouds earlier. Because I normally just, the skies are normally completely blue here, so we're just going to give them a little graded wash, and that's fine. Um, but I'll, I'll have a go at trying to do some clouds like this. Let's see if we can get it. I normally avoid them if I can. Um, so, what I've got, I've, I've mixed up um, a little bit of cerulean blue with a touch of tropical pathalo blue. Were you going to talk about palettes oh, first right, thing? Yeah. Uh, often people ask, you know, why, what do you do with your palette? Why do you use this one? Uh, what I like about this one is that you've got all these kind of wells on the side and you can squeeze your colours from your tubes into here and being watercolour, they will dry, but they will reactivate as soon as you get them wet. So do you tend to leave them in the palette? I tend to leave them in the palette. I give a quick wipe around here. It could have been better. I generally wipe the bigger wells out and then you can just kind of dip in it. And the good thing is that you become familiar where your colours are. So I've got kind of uh, Naples yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium red. There's some missing alizarin crimson. We've got uh, burnt sienna, burnt umber. I think that's a lime green, which comes in handy sometimes. Sap green, of course. Hooker's green. And there's cerulean blue, tropical pathalo blue. Um, French ultramarine. There's a little bit magenta and to finish off with some paint grey. And I... Then often just put a little squeeze of um, <clears throat> white gouache there for emergencies. But so now your I'm, white gouache seems to have expanded this week. <laughs> yeah. well, I've been busy doing a uh, been painting dogs this week. Actually, it's been really good. Um, so they've had to have a little bit of gouache treatment. So I've got a feeling that this may be a little bit green. But what I'm going to do? Let's have a go. Let's just. Uh, your hands in the way. Sorry. You're blue, not allowed to use your blue. hands. Okay, to action the sky let's just go i'm going to just we have a, a number of people that have joined us great um a lot welcome of people everybody. a lot of names i don't recognize again so Good. welcome welcome along uh like i said i don't normally do clouds but i'm, I'm gonna have a go at roughly putting some ideas some clouds in here i've got a cerulean blue and tropical pathalo blue mix let's have a look now the great thing is if you keep it kind of relatively damp you can um retouch it all later on if it all goes horribly wrong. I'm just going to run that down there. That'll do. I'm kind of keeping a loose board today, just for a change. Now a little bit of a bit of water in the mix. And I'm going to fade that out down to the um, shoreline. I'll try and avoid the, the buildings. Hello from Australia. Hello from Australia. Ah, it's an evening. The sun is setting, I believe, in Australia. No, I'd, uh, I'd like to paint over here, but the camera person's in the way. There we are. So Sorry, the, the camera person can move. What a dog. So I've got a little damp brush. I might just soften the edges a little bit there, but I don't know, it's quite sort of graphic, isn't it? I kind of like it like this. I've got a damp brush, I'm just softening it off. I did wet the paper before, but as usual, I did it too early and it's gone a bit dry. It's probably a good idea if you want to start playing with clouds, just to have... Um, yeah, just a little bit of moisture, a little bit of dampness in the paper. But I actually quite like that sort of uh, slightly graphic. I'm going to have a little bit of bluey, uh, bluey magenta colour. We've got know. another person from Australia. The Australians are definitely... Oh, good. Um, I normally ask people to let us know where they are from. So we... And uh, Harridge. So we've got Pauline Grenard from Harridge is watching uh, again. Good morning, good morning. Snowed in, are they? Snowed in there. Look, I'm just sort of keeping this quite loose. 
and uh, abstract. <coughs> a little bit of magenta underneath, but it all kind of blends in there. I think I'm going to just, you don't want to fiddle around too much with the clouds. I'm just going to stand back and leave that. That'll blend in and do something later on. Let's have a little bit of a tab. When you've got a spare moment, let us know where you are, um, are you, where you're watching from. South Devon. South Devon, uh, yes. Liverpool. Good, uh, Liverpool. All right, so now I'm gonna do some a wash on the seat. What I've done actually, I've got, um, if you look at this, I've got um, a step-by-step -step guide I did, which is on our website, Painting in France, painting-in-france.com. Um, and I'm gonna refer back to what I've done here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the cerulean blue with perhaps a little bit more pathetic blue. I'm gonna use a bigger brush. I think. We've got Hannah Ashworth. Hannah, hello. From Devon. Yes. And we have um, Sue Abel from Birmingham. Ah, hi Sue. Here we are. I'm just literally going to put a. And Helen from we um, Perth in Western Australia. So oh, we've got nice. a, a, yeah, a strong cool. Australian contingency Indeed. watching us today. So I'm just going to wash that cerulean blue and pathalo blue. I'm going to add a little bit more pathalo blue. So give that. Whoa, look at that. What do you think? That's kind of washing on, isn't it? And you can be quite sort of rough with this. We can come back and uh, enhance it, touch it up a little bit. I've, like I said, I've kept this kind of slightly looser, looser edge just for a change. Sometimes it's nice just to have a, a kind of slightly broken edge like that. There we go, what do you think? Can I have a quick look at that? There we go. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. What I'm going to do is, as per my instructions, I would let that dry now. I don't know, I might put a little bit of something else in there. I can think about that later on. But at the moment, we're just kind of washed in a, a pale blue sky, a hint at some clouds, just leaving that space, a little bit magenta, and some blues in the water. It is a beautiful area, isn't it, that little uh, village? I was eager, it's beautiful, yeah. yes. <laughs> we haven't it's... been for a while. Well... I suppose it's it's it Bizig is um they grow a lot of oysters in the what they call the Etang, which is the um lagoon here. There's a big oyster production and Bizig is a real little oyster town and we often go down there for a glass of the local white wine which is called a pickpool, a pickpool de pinay, which goes particularly well with oysters yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there's nothing do, uh, lovely on a, on a warm summer's day or even on a spring day just going down there okay painting we're going to go um i've got this kind of this kind of background area here there's a wide range of blues so i'm going to leave some buildings white paper i've just got a very pale let's have a look very pale naples yellow and i'm going to leave a few little areas white if you look there's a there's a white Balcony there. Little cover. I'm just going to put that in there. Helen, I know oysters are. You either love them or you hate them. That's right. There's no in between. Do not. They do a range of food in some of the restaurants. So uh, we have a. Uh, we're not forcing everyone to have uh, oysters when they're down there. So I'm just putting a little bit of. What have we got? A little bit of yeah. I started with the Naples yellow. I'm just sort of washing this. On quite random. I'm going to you started leave. with Naples yellow, but you seem to be putting a slightly yellowy yellow in there. That's right. What well, is that, what is that known well, as? Uh, this is making is known as making up as you go along. I'm missing a few buildings out. I've got some Naples yellow in my brush. I'm going to come back and put some other washes of brown in here anyway. But it's quite nice just to have little little blends of uh, colour. Let's have another. I mean, I've sketched this out this morning, but it isn't going to be photographically accurate. Unless you're doing a job for the for the local mayor, um, let's have a look. That's kind of coming on. I think what I'll do. What did I do? I'm going to put. A, there's a nice kind of sandy walkway here, which is nice, isn't it? Let's put a bit of that in. That can go over everything. We're going to, the trees will be stronger on top, so we're going to just do that. That's quite good. So it can be quite loose. Like I said, the trees are on top. We left a little bit of white area here and there. Uh, we've got some rocks down here. There we go. Slowly, yeah, so the lighter base colours are in place. It's quite a limited colour palette today, isn't so it? So far, so it is. Or is yes. it going to? It will gain 
variety as we go on. I'm just going to, I'm just looking back at my original step-by-step -step guide and I'm thinking what I need to do is actually, I'm just going to, you see when you, if you put the other colours on while it's still damp, it kind of gets that old, oldy facade feel about it. We're going to come back. Well, you're not getting these big blocks of solid colour, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, I mean, I will put some... Because the colours here in the building are quite nuanced, aren't they? They're, you don't... It's quite a variety, it's, it? And also, you don't tend to... A lot of the, the... Because I suppose they use a lime wash paint traditionally, a lot of the paint does sort of... Areas are faded away, and it's not all just yeah, one I big think, solid colour. Every building is different, isn't it? All the yeah. facades. I'd love to know the... I'd I'm going to go over five. again so people can have a quick look at... Oh, yeah. I mean, all these buildings, each one's different. I mean, the, obviously, a similarity in style, but I guess over the years they've been extended or joined together. I'd like to meet the guy in building. Ah, oh, I get jump. to have a sip of my tea. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of hair dryer on. Let's dry that off. We've got somebody else from Brisbane who's joined us as Brisbane. well, Vanita. I tell you. I'm guessing that there's not much chance of um, anyone from Brisbane coming to France in the near future. Not this year, I don't think, unfortunately. No. We're going to miss our Australian friends this year. Yeah, are, aren't we? Okay. So that's got a bit of that. I've just spotted. I'm just going to put a little bit of... Um, that the dist just on the other side of the lagoon, there's a little town of Set on the coast. I'm just going to hint at... Um, and that's a beautiful town as well, isn't it? It is. They call it the Venice of the South because it's got quite a, it's a little canal system. So you've added just a little bit of... Yeah, a little hint of... Um, magenta in with the blue just to get that yes, sort of purplish... Yes. So, the next thing is a sort of medium-sized brush. What have I got here? This is a um, number 10. And I'm going to just... If you look at this, uh, I've got... We've got this kind of uh, basic colours in the background. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some, block in some of the, the more browny colours before we eventually put some shadows in. So let's uh, see how that goes. Helen, yeah, I mean, Australia's a long way away, but it's a beautiful country in its own right. And um, there's a lot to see. And the great thing is you can come and travel with us um, virtually. That's right, yes. In fact, aren't we talking, or did you look at that, about the... Um, yeah, we actually, we wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, we're thinking of actually doing some painting stuff on plein air, but it's, it's difficult because a lot of the places don't necessarily have fantastic mobile service, so we can't really do them live. But how would you guys, now that the weather here is sort of brightening up a bit, how would you guys like to... Um, sort of join us, They've, there's a feature on Facebook which is a watch party where we will post a video and tell you when it's being posted and then we will actually still be, Simon will still be on live to answer questions but it'll actually be a video of him having done a session like this. Same kind of technique, isn't it? So yeah, witty exactly. Witty banter, witty chat. <laughs> I don't know if we'd call door. it witty. <laughs> and, uh... But the fact is it would be outside rather than inside and then you guys would still have the opportunity to ask questions and for us to interact. And they would get a panoramic view of the actual scene where we, we are painting. So we've got one yes, please. Sound, we another That's sounds enough. good to me. One's enough. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we're on to it. So yeah, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going across here randomly breaking up this. So there's some pinks in here as well. I mean, I'm doing this quite quickly. I recommend if you, if you do have a go, uh, take your time on the drawing, just sort of individually. I kind of got the rough perspective going on that way, and then I just literally put the blocks in first, and then the windows and details, and built it up like that. I mean, I'm using just just kind of browny browny colours here, but really there's um, there's quite a range of different colours going on. If you come down here, there's some sort of quite pinky colours on there and everything. Um, well, we've got a lot of thumbs up for the idea, so I think next, um, what we'll do is. When we've got a, a good day, we'll get out there <laughs> you know and... You what's going to happen? It's going to be... Uh, gale force winds and, yeah, exactly. um, no, no, and snow and... Exactly, yeah, we're just sort of with, with the easel having to be weighted down. The dog is actually tied to the, uh, tied to the easel to keep it in place. But, I mean, that's the thing. 
it doesn't have to necessarily be on that day. Usually, no, it doesn't. Really because go. the thing is, is because we'd be pre-shooting the video. Yeah. Um, we're not, not going to sort of edit it or... No, it'll be a casual session like this is as yeah. well, and I'll be asking you questions. So the only difference is, is we're not going to be talking to people like this on camera. You'll be talking to them when the, the video is actually posted, and you'll be able to chat to them via, you know, by texting yeah. people. So just to recap, I've, we've washed some pale blue sky, cerulean blue with a little bit of pathalo blue, some a little hint of magenta in the, in the the roof, the rough skies in the abstract cloud pattern I'll put in. Then we come in with the cerulean blue and patella blue into the water. A pale wash of Naples yellow and yellow ochre on the buildings. And now I'm putting in some burnt sienna and burnt umber just to add that little bit of extra dimension to the, to the buildings and so on. The next phase, just referring to my notes, is to add some uh, shadow. So, oh yeah, the sketch was just very loosely done in the 2B pencil. Um, so that just gives you an idea. So, like I said, quite loose, but keep, keep your mind on the perspective. All right, I'm going to dry this off so you can have another cup of tea, darling. <laughs> Nikki says she loves your clouds. Oh, that's good. So. Excellent. Oh, well, there we are. As I was saying to people, it's, uh, <laughs> it's rare. I mean, there are some amazing tutorials, usually from British and North European artists for painting clouds and rain. Um, but we're fortunate enough not to have much of that. Um, and I tend to get a little bit lazy with clouds. It's definitely worth practicing with clouds. And uh, as you can see, I probably do with a bit of practice. But you get the idea. It's, it's, it's the main thing is going to be the, the intensity of the sort of uh, scene there. You make it sound like we never get clouds and rain. We That's do. Yes, yes. We have had a winter like everybody I'm else. Yes, I'm, I'm overselling it. Um, but during the summer, we don't get a lot. That is true. Okay, so. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, according to my notes, it's a little magenta and Payne's grey. I just want to warm that shadow colour up, and I'm literally going to go one eye on the. Let me on, just show yeah, your just, palette. I'm just uh, so it's it's like a kind of Payne's grey, um, not too magenta, -y, not too Payne's grey, -y, sort of in the middle. In fact, I'll just try on a bit of paper. Um, How's that? That's, that's, so that's quite good. That's quite a good consistency. So it's not too strong and not too weak. So net, um, the paper is not stretched, is it? Remind paper, us again oh yeah, what paper, paper you here, use. I use um, for these situations, I use 420 gram rough watercolor paper. And the nice thing is it's, it's quite a heavyweight paper. So it, I've just literally run some uh, masking tape around the edge and that will if much lower than that you'll start to get a buckling if you get it too wet you know which is a bit frustrating to to work with alternatively you have to go and stretch the paper in the bath and let it dry with special tape and so on so this is 420 gram i give it the thumbs up and the nice thing is you've got you get two sides of the paper one's this is slightly smoother the other side is slightly it's rougher. even rougher than that okay it's even rougher, yeah. so, do you ever tend to use the very rough rough side uh, only by mistake usually okay yes <laughs> in the extreme but if you've got something slightly more abstract or looser in style yeah. the rougher side actually can quite work quite nicely so let's look i'm literally going to go um across my painting that's quite pink isn't it? um so is that meant to be the terracotta roofs? This is the shadow I'm putting on that. Oh, so okay. This is like, we've got some kind of quite nice bold shadows down there. And I'm just sort of literally putting a, you know, under the roof. And I'm, I kind of, is it a bit lazy? But I just sort of literally just mix up a, a shadow colour. We're going to put some more into the, the windows and so on in a while. But I just sort of, we've got the sun coming in from the, from the right hand side, the south, the Mediterranean is this way. And so I'm just literally going to run through here. There's a few little balconies, we can pretend there's a thing there. That's quite dark in there, a bit more of that. Um, back to my notes. Yeah, it's just like slowly building that, that scene up really. 
See what I mean? And that, in fact, I thought that was quite strong. Can I'm... we actually just, I want to go onto the picture just to show people yeah, where sure. the... Hang on, I'll just do that. When you finished. I just want to show them how strong the, yeah, the, the, the shadows the, actually the shadows are. There. It's not a great photograph, but what's nice is that the, the, the sunlight is bright. So it's, we get these nice strong shadows. <clears throat> and I'm going to hint at some, it looks like it's all about to run down the page. So I might just, with a damp brush, just push that back. Um, we've got kind of cars and things under the trees. I'm just going to put... Um, You're not going to put all of those no, in, are you? <laughs> I'm just going to, we've got some sort of shadow from the trees. I'm going to just perhaps leave some white spaces. These are the lovely, the mulberry trees, aren't they? They are, they're absolutely cool. So you get a lot of mulberry trees down here and they kind of cut them in such a way that they create a real sort of umbrella of shade. Yeah. They work really well. They've got a very specific way of pollarding them. Um, and they it's are really quite severe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very severe. When one sees them in the winter with, without leaves on, they sort of very sculptural but they do make okay. fantastic shade trees and one of the reasons so, why we at the bar. I'm not going they are yeah the, one of the reasons why we actually have so many done here is because it was quite a big um silk industry oh yes or textile industry to, <clears throat> towards neem of course where yeah. denim comes from and from de and neem denim denim yeah, see? Um, and then some of the areas <coughs> around there actually produced silk as well. So you learn something every day, don't you? Yes. It's not just a painting course, ladies and gentlemen. It's local history and knowledge as well. Right, I've got this... Um, I think I've, I've probably gone a little bit too watery there. What you don't want is this kind of... What do they call them? Cauliflower effect. Um, but I've got... I can go back over that again later. It's best to let it dry and then... It, Go over it later. I've just put this kind of shadow under the trees. There's some rocks, there's a boat here, and um, a bit more over here. So, once again, I would normally uh, lean back and have a small glass of white wine, let that dry, and then uh, continue. But as we're going live, we shall start for Monica's cup of tea and a quick drive the head right. You know, one day I'm going to sit on the chair and that's not going to be there. <laughs> yes. That could be spectacular. I mean, if you have got any questions, please uh, fire away. I'll do my best to answer them. Either here now or um, later on when I go through the uh, comments. There we go. Yeah, the reason I do this is A, to speed up the drying, and what you'll find works best, a common mistake is to kind of press on with the watercolour painting and everything becomes a little bit sort of blurry and a bit samey. So it is best to get the layers on, the background, middle ground, first kind of tones on the building, and then um, let that dry and then add some intensity of the shadows. Um, this is probably slightly oversimplified, but I hope it's going to give you the, the idea. So from here, I think it's time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's sap green time. I hear the crowds roar. Uh, as people know, this is one of my favourites. Hey, Mama. Green. My yeah. mum's watching <laughs> oh, from right. South Africa. South Africa. All right, the Southern Hemisphere is here as well. Excellent. Well, the Southern Hemisphere has been here for a while, love. Oh, yes, right. Where yes. do you think Australia is? Okay, southern, southern. <laughs> yeah, right. Geography was not my strong point. <laughs> right, so we have got this sunny day at the oyster village of Buzig, and now we've, we've got that kind of area dry. Oh, I should put the windows in. Mm, I'll put those in after the trees. Basically, we've got this nice kind of uh, line of trees here. I'm just going to put a, a first kind of wash. This is, this is quite, quite thick, so theoretically, it kind of covers the um, the shadows behind, where it kind of uh, partly covers them. I'm just going to literally just put this in. Martin Brown John has joined Martin. us. Martin, ah, good day. Sounds a musician as well as an artist, I saw. Good, good for him. Now, Martin's been here, hasn't he? He's been yes. under a tree. They were nodding here. Off with a brush in his hand. Yes. Um, Sarah, so. We are actually at the point of exploring different um, 
Because, of course, uh, well, just to give it a bit of context, so Sarah's just asked the question whether we found any other good sources, French sources for paper, because we were used to order from SAA right. um, in the UK, but unfortunately with the whole um, Brexit thing, it's um, now no longer really feasible for us to do so. So we are about to look at a company called Les Beaux-Arts, um, which are a big um, supplier yeah, of. It'll be, it'll be and we are also potentially going to look and see um, if there's anything in, possibly in Germany. Yes. And true. Holland. Um, because France does tend to be quite expensive. We'll see what they come up with. So we'll see. But um, we'll share it. We're throwing down the gauntlet. For any of our French... Um, um, clients or friends, we will um, share our learnings on that one if you want us to. The rather familiar sort of random brush strokes here. There's a this is kind of a line of rocks, but there is a bit of a little bit of kind of greenery, a little bit of, sort of grass growing over the top here and there. You... That's fine. That's great. Yeah, I'll let that. Try a little bit. Your brand of paper, it is actually just an SAA paper, isn't it, that uh, you use no, or not? No, this is um, Saunders Waterford. Saunders Waterford. Okay, fine. So I did right. buy it through the SAA, and I'm sure there are some excellent French equivalents, if not... But Saunders paper. Waterford is a very well-known... Yes, exactly, yeah. It'll be um, well. ...brand of papers, and yeah, it'll be available yeah, I think so, in yeah. most countries. Um, I'm going to just literally go in now with a, with a sort of dark shadow green... The, the Which is, uh, what, your old hookers? Old hookers. Yes, hooker's green. I'm just literally just putting that underneath. It's not specific trees, but it kind of the idea of just to get it underneath here, around the edges a little bit, not quite random. As you can see, the brush strokes are quite sort of vague. Yes, random. Me. I'm going to zoom in oh, on okay. that a little bit. So I'm just going to do. Mm -hmm. I can always hear the accordion music playing. What size brush did you say you're using? Uh, this is a number 10. Okay. Um, which is quite nice. It's nice and round. It's nice. You can get a nice point on it. Or a sort of slightly bigger brush stroke as well. And I'm just literally going to come down. Actually, there's a bigger tree. We've got our tree on the front, haven't we? Which is where we are sitting. So I'm going to make that one slightly bigger here. Look, there's a little bench. Let's have a little out. Uh, That's a slightly different tree, though, isn't it? The one that you guys always sit under. It's not actually <laughs> one of the mulberry trees. Actually, right, yeah. This tree. Um, your tree. It is. <laughs> we, we've sort of um, pressurised locals off the bench, haven't we, a number of times. Often we'll turn up with a little group of five or six. But you don't just yeah. have that one bench that people can no, sit on. No. You do provide quite a number of, quite a lot of chairs and stuff. Yes, of course, yeah. For people to move around. But it's quite nice having the shade, isn't it? The shade is good. And uh, usually there's a, an old boy and his dog sat there, which he's been doing for the last 50 years. And then we turn up and sort of start putting equipment, equipment around him. <laughs> and, and before long, he's just looking slightly nervous and then kind of wanders off, sort of dragging his dog behind him. <laughs> In fact, we just want to invite him along. I, I will take a bottle and pick Paul down with before him next time. But it's funny. It's a, it's a nice spot, though, isn't it? But in, in fact, ironically, this is, um, a, a, this is a classic view here just from a little beach here, but it's very exposed, so it's actually too hot to paint from here, that view. Um, so this is a bonus, a bonus painting you are so, enjoying. Well, Martin just said, yes, they were here on holiday and how much they enjoyed it. But, of course, they were here during the heat wave. Oh, the heat wave. Yes, that was, wasn't it? I don't know yeah. if you did Buzig on that holiday. Yeah, Martin came down, yeah. Did you? And um, I think there's a little, I'll put a little, there's a little panning film shot of him. Uh, I think next time we'll have people being able to uh, roll up their trouser legs and go paddling in the water. But, I mean, that time, literally, it was a case of just finding any little bit of shade you could yes, find. Yes, it was, wasn't it? OK, that's, as you can see now, I've got a, a sort of hint of the kind of greenery going on there. Some behind the, it's useful for getting the behind the buildings in the back there as well. And what I will do is I'll let this dry, but no, I will use the dryer. And then we'll put some slightly stronger shadows in and some, some windows. Was that, the, was that also the holiday where we, um, we had the TV crew along? I think, yes. <laughs> they were there, weren't they? Yes. Well, yes. Oh, it was just a We're about, to, we're going to be on again this year, aren't we? 
new life in the sun. <laughs> yes, take but just two. take two. It's just yeah. a sort of revisit. They came along. It's just a short one this time. I think we're just in a one episode. Um, a life in the sun revisited, I think it's called. Yeah, didn't they say it was end of February? I think so, yeah. yeah. End of February, beginning of March. So anybody that's in the UK can have a little laugh at us. Okay, that's taking shape. Yeah, last, last year was a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? We had, didn't, have, yeah. didn't have much in the way of holidays. No holidays and no painting work. Oh, we did the one... Um, Sarah, we haven't... Um, we've been told that it's either the last week of February or the first week of March, so they weren't quite sure of the, um, the airing schedule, but they'll let us know. And they will let you know. So we will let you know in advance so that if you do want to watch us, you can. OK, what I've done now, I've mixed up that kind of shadow colour slightly... Ooh, slightly more intense. That is... Slightly let's see, can we just... Yeah. It's pretty intense, isn't it? Yeah, there's the first one. So this is okay. going to be a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to literally just run down here. Uh, what have we done? Put some... I think it could be even darker than that. Yeah, come on. My gosh. And are you literally just putting a mixture of Payne's Grey and... Payne's Grey and the magenta. Magic. And we're just going to run through these windows and so on. So as you can see, the, because it's all now nice and dry, this is all um, going on quite nicely. Not bleeding into the colour around it. Exactly, yeah. Um, is that what you call the cauliflower effect? The cauliflower effect. Da -da -da -da. Yes. If, you've got the, if you're painting another layer on top of something else and it's too watery, it does start to get that kind of slightly um, grainy effect. Which um, sometimes people actually utilise. Uh, yeah, it's very good when you're painting cauliflowers <laughs> to, at the market. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a... It's, uh, you think you're so funny, funny oh, don't you? Wow. Well, you are. You fell into it. OK, so as you can see, I'm just sort of moving across. The, I'm, as you can see from here, I did start to make up the uh, the facade. I'm going to put a few little windows in here and there. Let's have a look. Like Martin says Jan and he have lived the high life ever since based on our television star stages. Oh, oh there we are. They just, yeah. Do you know, we actually had somebody stop us in the airport just after we'd That's done right, it, remember? Yes, yeah. We were in Luton Airport and this woman came up to us and said, oh, were you the guys that were on? It was a That's bit it. of a strange um, experience. Luton Airport, eh? Can Luton you, Airport. Uh, we live uh, it up, uh, don't we? Was that while we were waiting for our private jet? I think it yeah. was, not it? That was the last time we were in the UK. Yeah, kind of right. A year it? ago. A year ago, yeah. Yeah. OK, so I've put a few little windows in there. It's oh, amazing oh. how that changes, the whole... Suddenly, it has come alive. Yeah, I'm going to put a few little masts. It's a, little, a lovely little marina down the end, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that, we've often said that. Well, marina makes it sound like they're like super yachts and <laughs> things like that. It's, no, it's, it's not. This is one of the super yachts here on the foreground, yeah. It's a few sort of like motorboats and... Yeah, I think that's the most. So I'm just kind of... Trying to keep it loose and add some strength to the shadows here and there. Let's put some uh, wheels in there, little car look. And, uh, but um, keep, it, keep it kind of random. Oh, we've got a few little... That's quite good, yeah. A few kind of little tree stumps are quite good, aren't they? Tree, tre tree stumps. Tree stumps. <laughs> tree, tree trunks. There we are. To anchor your trees to the ground. Yeah. It's a, it's a lovely little... Quite a little place, isn't it? Because well, this is, um, although this is it's a quiet, road, it's, it's quiet and traffic. it's not. Because I mean, it gets quite, quite busy enough. at lunchtime with. Uh, that is the same that, everywhere in France. Because that whole front area is largely is just kind of a, a row of restaurants and a few little shops, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they've got the kind of canopies over there oh, where they sit out. Oh. Oh, roll on that those days again. I know. All our restaurants are closed. Yeah. They have been since the beginning of October. Yes. So the idea of going and ha actually having a a glass of wine and a little meal just seems like... It's just a dream, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like such a luxury. Yeah, because I mean, I think you guys in Australia, you've got um, life is normal, is that right? You're uh, just sort of swanning around, barbecues, shopping malls, beaches, keep us informed, but it's, it's, there's no restriction there, barring the borders. I, I don't think there is at the moment. No. 
Or is that just New Zealand? Right, so what I've done, as you can see, I've added a little bit of that dark maroon um, grey mix. And that's with a slightly smaller brush. In fact, I'm going to go for it even smaller. Um, try not to go too small too soon, as they say. So, um, I'm literally going to put a few little... These are quite good for... Yeah, we've got a, always got a few little aerials and things. It just helps to give things a little bit of scale. There's a few little window sills. Um, quite sort of random. Let's have a look. What do you think? Um, how about a little bit of shape on the boat? Ah, oh, Sarah, we've never tried La Nymph. So La we. Nymph. What's that? Sarah Mortimer said, love their place and you've included with my favourite little restaurant, La ah. Nymph. <laughs> So. Okay, well the original is for sale. It's expensive, but uh, <laughs> what a what a thing to have on your picture, paint of your hand, paint of your own restaurant. Um, okay, actually we're not far off here. If, if I run out, if I rushed ahead, you've got a little bit of. I quite like the fact that you've got just a little hint of colour on the boat. Oh, okay, on Let's that one. That. So I'm going to zoom in on that. Yeah. Yeah, Mama. My mum says shadow, she's shadow. got lots of mem or, uh, memories of us. Um, eating oysters there today, together uh, and we've um, we've taken a number of our friends and clients yeah. and family down there. Cadmium red for you my darling. Oh thanks Si. Let's have a little red car as well, little red car here and there. And um, I don't really want to do too much more to that to be no, honest. I don't think you what should. So give it another wash of something in the water. It's a little bit flat. I'll risk it. You're gonna risk it. So we've got just to recap, the pale backgrounds first, cerulean blue, pathalo blue, a little washes of colour on the buildings. And I'm going to put a bit more in there as well, I think. Um, and down here as well. Then we've built up the, the shadows, the windows, the trees. And now I'm going to just put a little bit of something, perhaps even a touch of green in there. Ooh. Oh. Like I said, I'm risking this masterpiece which has already been sold to Sarah Mortimer for a large sum of money. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. Um, but you might <laughs> cancel the order when I do this. I just wanted to give a little bit of kind of depth. Oh, that's not, that's all. That's okay. I just wanted to get a little bit of extra shape. Oh, with a big brush, you see, you get that nice, see where it's kind of broken up? Down the bottom there, and then. And as that dries, it'll soften off a bit a little as well, won't it? Yeah. There we are, we'll do that. And um, that's got quite a nice bit. I think I'll just have a, a small brush. It's like the doctor's, like the surgeon's here, isn't it? Just, there's a little bit of kind of seaweed and stuff down there, just on the water's edge. There we go. <laughs> there is it. She had no idea she'd bought it, but it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, my people will be in touch with her people. Um, I'm just going to... You know what Simon's like, Sarah. <laughs> He's a kidder. Now what... Oh, I'm going to dry it up a little bit. Oh, look. There's, uh, there's um, something running away down here. See the water? That's not a great look. So I've got a, literally a damp brush. And while that's uh, drying off, that'll be OK. I think that's all right. Perhaps just a hint more of a... You can't let it go, can you? Can't, uh... oh. Oh, no. Uh... So, I'll just try that again. I've got a nice little detail in there. And I might just finish off with a little bit of line work. sort of soft black crayon which um, I often use just to kind of sharpen things up and I have a feeling we may be using a little bit of white so I like this occasionally because it gives you a nice little sort of the feeling of a, of a pencil sketch like you just sort of oh, I've just put this sketch together and I splash some water on 
splash a bit of colour on. Maybe there's a, yeah, there might be a little hint of a, a balcony here. Not really, I might, yeah, let's have a, just a, in this near one, I might just have a little bit of some hint of some tiles. But so one thing you haven't actually done much, have you, is uh, is do the um, kind of that red terracotta on the tiled roof. You're right. <laughs> I think. I think. I think he forgot. I have forgotten. That. <laughs> uh, damn. Um, okay, and it's difficult once you've once you've drawn um, this on. Uh, you, it's it's difficult to go over, but I'll I'll do uh, for you, darling. I will just have a little wash of um, some um, pain. Uh, sorry, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna with a little bit of red in it. Ned, we'll put a, a sort of a, a little list of um, papers that um, would work well you see, that's, that's a onto this post so that you guys have got a better idea. That's a little bit brown, isn't it? <laughs> I knew, because <laughs> it's reacted with the colour, with the black underneath. I'm just going to, oh God, that's, now, that's, that's gone too red. Uh, this is all going wrong, but no. Uh, fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna put... I'm just Nothing gonna... like an armchair painter. Armchair painter. There'll be some words afterwards. But I'm just gonna. Just, I'm not gonna do them all, but just here and there. I found that is almost them all. But if you if you ever find you've gone a little bit too far with the colour, so um, you just just with a damp brush. Before it dries completely, just wipe it out. I'm going to take that out of here. There we are, okay. So then, last but not least, let's just take a, a small brush with some, um, with some white gouache. Because this, if you look at the um, picture, there's some nice little, you want to take your time, like I said, I'm <laughs> I am rushing this a bit, but Around the, the pic, around the picture, you've got Can some. I uh, just, yeah. uh, you've got some nice little frames around the windows, which are nice. Even if you just do the ones in the foreground, you know, things like that, and um, perhaps a little sort of sun catching the, the edge of a railing somewhere across there. Maybe there's a hint of. By just adding a few little spots like that, just. I always think it just adds a little bit of sparkle. Maybe there's glinting on a car down here. And then maybe let's have a few. The trade. Trademark? Signature. I knew you were going to do that. A few little spots. A few, just a few little sparkles, yeah. You see, that's kind of random. Sparkles is always nice. I like that. Maybe a little bit of just a hint of some water lapping on the, um, the ramp there. Perhaps a bit of a, ah, there we go. Yes. What else have we got? There's a few, just a few little uh, white things here, maybe on the boats. I, I do like little sparkly things, don't I? Oh, there's even some white frames here. One, two, three, four. That will kind of blend in. Maybe there's even um, just a vertical line there. And there we go. So <laughs> we have five. I'll stop. I poked Simon in the back because yeah. he always Excuse me. he stands over his students and goes, "Step away." Step away. <laughs> okay. All right. In that case, I think I'll I'll stop there. We've got this hopefully a sort of sparkly um, early summer scene on the oyster village of Buzi, and um, I hope we've captured that. Okay. All right. Can I go now, darling? You may. Do you want to say goodbye to people? Yeah, first properly? of all, thanks guys for uh, watching. Do um, share and like and uh, so on and so forth for Facebook. If you're watching this on the YouTube, the YouTube video will be coming up later. If you're watching it on YouTube, great. Please also uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe and so on to keep in touch with other videos that are coming up. Um, but yeah, I should perhaps do a little bit more on this now, just to finish off, and I'll post the finished picture on uh, Facebook later on this morning. And just a reminder that we are going to try and do one on plan air, which we will actually tape and then we'll set it up as a watch party so that yep. we're online to answer questions. So we'll wait for the weather to warm up. We don't want to stir, 
there are all the ants and lurking. I mean, the weather's it's getting better all the time, you know, it's, it's sunny, uh, but still a bit fresh. So I think in another week, we'll be able to find a, a good spot to, uh, to do a painting from, that'll be great. Okay, once again, thanks very much to Monica for the camera work, the dog for her contribution, and also, uh, if you do get a chance to paint it, please send it on, and um, I'll, I'll take a look and get back to this critique. Okay, thanks again, guys. All the best.